morning, grade 9 learners. You are now watching DepEd MP TV. I am Teacher Bliss, your guide in this lesson. Our topic for today is about respiratory and circulatory systems working together. At the end of our lesson, you are expected to explain how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. To start with, there are mechanisms of how respiratory and circulatory systems work together. The human respiratory system is all about exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide with the environment. The human circulatory system functions to transport blood and oxygen to the various tissues of the body. It also carries away carbon dioxide from the body tissues. The two body systems work together to ensure that organ tissues receive enough oxygen and to remove carbon dioxide, which is the metabolic waste product. In the diffusion of gases in the lungs, breathing delivers oxygen to the alveoli of the lungs. However, if oxygen merely remained in the lungs, all the other body cells would die. The vital link between the alveoli and the body cells is the circulatory system. Each alveolus serves a depot from which oxygen is loaded into the blood of the pulmonary capillaries. Because the alveoli contain a greater concentration of oxygen than the blood entering the pulmonary capillaries, oxygen molecules diffuse from the alveoli into the blood. Carbon dioxide moves from the blood, where it is more concentrated, to the alveoli, where it is less concentrated. Each gas diffuses through the thin lining of the capillary and the thin lining of the alveolus. As blood circulates through the tissues, oxygen moves from the blood, where it is more concentrated, into the cells, where it is less concentrated. On the other hand, carbon dioxide is more concentrated in the cells than in the blood. As a result, carbon dioxide diffuses from the cells into the blood and is transported to the lungs. Regarding the transportation of gases by the circulatory system, it is shown in the diagram. Gases that are transported by the circulatory system are best demonstrated by following the path of a red blood cell from the heart traveling through the lungs. A red blood cell delivers oxygen and picks up carbon dioxide from the different parts of the body. It returns to the right atrium then to the right ventricle of the heart. The red blood cell is pumped out of the heart through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. In the lungs, the red blood cell enters the alveoli where gas exchange through diffusion takes place. The red blood cell then turns to the heart through the capillaries and pulmonary vein. From the pulmonary vein, the red blood cell enters the left atrium of the heart then to the left ventricle. The oxygen-rich blood is pumped out of the heart to the different parts of the body via the aorta artery and eventually reaches the capillaries leading to the individual cells. There, the cells absorb the oxygen from the red blood cell and pass on their waste carbon dioxide. The table shows blood circulation. In the table, we can see type of circulation, description, and diagram. Number one, pulmonary circulation. It is the movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. This is the diagram. Number two, coronary circulation. It is the movement of blood through the tissues of the heart. This is also the diagram. Number three, system circulation. 
it is the movement of blood from the heart to the rest of the body, excluding the lungs. Here is the diagram. We have just discussed how respiratory and circulatory system work together in our body. To deepen your understanding about the topic, take time to answer the following activities. Activity 1 Activity 2 Activity 3 and Activity 4 It's reflection time. You can't have one without the other. How can you relate this in real life situation? You may send your answer in the teacher's email account or you may submit your answer sheet to your teacher. This is the end of our lesson. Continue watching at DepEd MP TV for more videos. Once again, I am Teacher Bliss, signing off.